Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Bahashem, Rakahak Wadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video, and I'm going to start it off in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. And of course, you've got the spiritual demon Satan, which if you can receive it, is the top left-handed angel of the Most High, who doesn't have free will of his own and only does what the Most High has ordered and allows him to do. And then you've got Satan's physical counterpart on the planet Earth. The biblical Edomite are these so-called white people who come in the spirit and the vibration of Satan. But again, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And when the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, whenever the elites of the Edomites, like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you name it, come with these different agendas out here, but they like to, uh, you know, dress it up. And make it look like a, a naturally occurring event out here through the spirit. We can see right through it and go to the scriptures and filter that news through the scriptures to reveal the plans of these devils out here. And uh, I opened up the video with this verse to preface an article on FoxNews.com titled Obama suggests digital fingerprints to counter misinformation so we know what's true. And what's not? Hey, and that's a loaded title. Those digital fingerprints, hey, what should come to mind? That Karagma in Revelation chapter 13, the M-A-R-K-O-F-T-H-E-B-E-A-S-T, which is the RFID slash NFC, M-I-C-R-O-C-H-I-P-I-M-P-L-A-N-T. Hey, and all these different uh, agendas out here such as the push for a digital cashless society, CBDCs or central bank digital currencies, you name it, is all leading towards the mandatory implementation and rollout of that karagma. And the, this talk of digital fingerprints to counter misinformation is just another step leading towards that. And also, hey, this article is going to talk about... Uh, the prevalence of misinformation online and how a digital fingerprint, a digital ID, you know, could verify authentic from inauthentic information. Hey, that ties into the fame of the word as well, because when that karagma comes out, the elect of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai aren't going to take it. But everything in this beast system we're in is going to be tied to that karagma. So you're going to be seen as a social pariah in society and won't be able to function in society. And they can tie that into what? These video epistles. The men of the Lord don't get that uh, digital ID, those digital fingerprints of that karagma. So what? We can be labeled as terrorists, uh, black identity extremists. Uh, Russian agents or whoever pushing out false misinformation, which would justify them in what taking our videos off the Internet and bringing that case against us to take us off the highways and byways and throw us in prison. This is Isaiah chapter 29. I'm going to read verses 20 to 21 for the terrible one is brought to naught. And that terrible one is talking about the wicked, these Edomites, beginning with their elites who are being brought to naught spiritually right now through the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai from his uh, mouthpiece, the prophets out on the highways and byways preaching this word, as well as putting up video epistles like this online. Like I said earlier, hey, the, when the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, which the spirit is dealing with the prophets, chiefly GMS or Great Millstone, as well as the brothers that come in the spirit of GMS. We see right through uh, these plans that these Edomites come up with and what filter it through the scriptures and reveal those plans. Hey, we're the spiritual prosecution team bringing that case against you devils. 
you Edomites, before the judge, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and then the terrible one is going to be brought to naught physically when the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so called Jesus Christ, makes a second coming to save the elect of the nation of Israel and will go to war against you heathens and take down your rulership, chiefly you Edomites. And the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Here's the main point I wanted to get to that make a man an offender for a word, a demonizing the men of the Lord for correctly breaking down the scriptures and showing uh, the world the prophecies and what's about to take place, and especially revealing who you Edomites are. As it says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. A hey, To you uh, sincere brothers out there, we're doing a great work. A hey, prophesying the words of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai correctly. We're bringing about the downfall of these heathens, beginning with Esau's rulership. And these elites understand the scriptures and know that. So they're about to pull out all the stops to demonize this word and take it off the Internet and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. And a snare is a trap. And like I was saying earlier, a digital fingerprint tied to uh, that karagma would be a, a, a really good snare for these devils to use. Um, say a major event happens, a uh, cyber attack, uh, EMP. You know, the system gets knocked down and they have to re reboot everything. They need some kind of form of identification, which is going to be that karagma. And those that don't want to get it are going to be looked at as suspicious. If you don't have anything to hide, why don't you want to get that karagma? You must be a, uh, a sleeper cell, a domestic T, a black identity extremist. I mean, look at all this information you're posting online. We can't verify you because you don't have that digital fingerprint. Hey, so we're going to scrub that information and throw you into prison. But hey, we know through the scriptures that some of us will be cast into prison by this devil. What does it say in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Hey, the persecution, getting cast into prison, whatever comes our way. Behold, the devil or that deceiver, Esau, Edom, beginning with their elites, shall cast you into prison that ye may be tried. Oh, you're a, uh, again, a domestic T, an enemy of the state. We can't verify you because you don't want to receive that karagma or you don't have that karagma. So you're going to go into one of these uh, detention centers hey, and hey, this devil's going to try us in there, you know, methods of uh, torture or, or whatever they have lined up. But remember, fear none of those things. If that's your lot, it's through the will of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And as it's about to say, and ye shall have tribula tribulation 10 days, which just means a complete amount of tribulation for whatever is in your lot. Be thou faithful unto death. If that's your lot, and I will give thee a crown of life. Hey, it's a trying of our faith through Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai to see if we're going to fear man who can only destroy the body more than the Most High who can destroy the body and spirit. And if we endure whatever comes our way, as it says, I will give thee a crown of life. You're going to be of that elect number, the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven, point blank, period. And hey, Nothing this devil's going to come with, and best believe he's going to come with a lot. As it says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, he's going to come down in great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Should separate you from your faith and trust in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to lose your crown, to lose that spot, that one in a, once in a lifetime chance to be of that elect number. But without further ado, let's get into this article. Again, Obama suggests digital fingerprints to counter misinformation so we know what's true and what's not true, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. 
Obama says he's been a target of deep fakes, predicts next election cycle will be rife with false info. And fuck Obama. He's a goddamn Hamite, (laughs) so-called African. Anyway, he's not our people. And he's especially juiced in with the elites and their agenda. And in the kingdom, Obama, along with you other Hamites, are going into slavery as well with these Edomites. Former President Barack Obama suggested in a new interview the development of digital fingerprints to combat misinformation and distinguish between true and misleading news for consumers. Obama sat down with his former White House senior advisor, David Axelrod, for a conversation on the latter's podcast, The Axe Files, on CNN Audio. During the interview, Axelrod noted he's seen misinformation, disinformation, and deep fakes targeting Obama. As I've told people, because I was the first digital president when I left office, I was probably the most recorded, filmed, photographed human in history, which is kind of a weird thing, responded Obama. But just the odds are that I was. What a what a humble man. <laughs> as a consequence, there's a lot of raw material out there. And just as there's a lot of raw material of us out there, thousands upon thousands of hours of us preaching this word, and with this same deep fake and uh, AI technology, they can take our faces and our voices and just create whole videos and images of things we didn't do or say to further demonize us. And since the men of the Lord aren't going to receive that digital fingerprint, they'll be like, look, we can't verify who you are. We don't know. We, we don't know whether that's authentic or inauthentic information, but we're suspicious of you because you don't want to get along with the system. So we're going to take that information offline and hey, we're going to we're going to cast you into prison until we sort things out. The former president added that the deep fakes digitally manipulated images audio or video that appear legitimate started with a version of him dancing, saying dirty limericks, and similar kinds of activity. That technology is here now, continued Obama, who warned about the issue getting worse moving forward. So most immediately, we're going to have all the problems we had with misinformation before, but the next election cycle will be worse. He then suggested digital fingerprints to discern truth from misinformation and the need for us for the general public i think to be more discriminating consumers of news and information the need for us to over time develop technologies to create watermarks or digital fingerprints so we know what is true and what is not true he said there's a whole bunch of work that's going to have to be done there but in the short term it's really going to be up to the american people to kind of say and however they uh roll out you know digital fingerprints or whatever whatever form of uh digital authentication to uh discern information true inform so-called true information from so-called misinformation ultimately know that all these things are going to lead to that karagma as the old saying goes all roads lead to rome And this sounds like something of a a social credit score, like what they have over in China, which over in China with that social credit score, if you say things that are uh, not what the government deems appropriate or patriotic, you buy goods that the government sees as contraband or anything like that, your social credit score gets lowered and you can't do things like, you know, get a job, get housing, travel abroad. Or anything like that. You're just a pariah in society. And that's ultimately what that karagma is going to do. This is Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. And he calls a thaw. That he being the elite rulers of the planet right now. Who again are uh, the biblical Edomite. Or the so-called white people. Such as the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Gettys, the DuPonts the Massimos, the Altriches, etc., etc., both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma with all your uh, digital biometric data on it in their right hand or in their foreheads. 
may think of things like Synchron or Neuralink in that no man might buy or sell, travel abroad, get a job. And, and now what else looks like in a, a thing? You won't be able to use the Internet unless you have a, a digital fingerprint. And if you don't have a digital fingerprint, they'll take whatever you have off the Internet off. Save he that had the Karagma or the name of the B-E-A-S-T or the number of his name, point blank period. And where's your uh, fingerprints on your hand? And where's that one of the places that Karagma's going to be in your hands? Hey, just the, the swipe of the wrist. You can buy or sell or uh, log in online because uh, you have that digital fingerprint and you've been verified as a... Uh, as a good patriotic citizen with a high enough social credit score showing you're doing everything that you need to do. But now I'm going to close it out in Amos chapter 8, verse 11 to 13. Because again, just like these digital fingerprints, they are just one more stepping stone towards that karagma. As that article was also talking about, it's going to be uh, theoretically used to verify or disverify information online. And with the men of the Lord not receiving that karagma, hey, that's automatically going to dis that's automatically going to label what we post as misinformation and take it offline, which is what plays into the fame of the word, which through biblical prophecy we know is coming and it's coming very quickly. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 to 13. Behold the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, though food shortages, famines of biblical proportions, where mass numbers of people are going to die off of starvation are coming. But of hearing the words of Yahweh, the famine of the word, where the men of the Lord are no longer going to be on the highways and byways, or these video epistles are going to no longer be online, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. During these terrible times of Jacob's trouble, when you people, especially the wicked of our people, are living through these judgments of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, you're going to be running around looking for answers. And best believe the Most High is going to put thoughts into your mind to remember those little things you heard here and there from the prophets that you scoffed at. You're going to try to find the prophets. Wander from sea to sea, so to speak, from the north even to the east, running to and fro to find the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, but you shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. You're going to have to take whatever judgment comes your way for treating this time of liberty when you could have freely gotten the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai as a time to just continue to be wicked and scoff at the word and cast it behind your back. As it says in 2 Ezra chapter 9, and they shall know it after death by pain, point blank period. So to you sincere Akim and Akwat out there, like we always tell you, drink from these rivers of living waters while you still can before that spigot is cut off. And you're only going to have whatever knowledge, wisdom and understanding you gain during this time of liberty to get you through these terrible times of Jacob's trouble, which again are quickly coming our way. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akiam and Akwath were edified. Just keep strong. As we can clearly see, we are almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and until next time, Shalom.